have you ever thought about something and wondered how you actually registered the information? I wondered how each part of your brain works to actually move your hand. If you want to clap, you have to clap, but your brain has to do it for you. You have to think about it. I mean, some people think that that's just common sense, but I'm actually interested in how each part works, and where each part is located. So, since I'm interested in it, I figured that some of you guys would be too, and I'm not the only person out there. So, one person that actually got me interested in it is actually a professor here at BSU, Dr. Kimberly Henderson. You guys might actually have her for a class. Yeah, a lot of people do. She's one of my favorite teachers, and she actually got me very interested in it. And it's only been a short time, but I've learned a lot. Um, I think it's important to know where your, each part of your brain is located and which has to do with what. I mean, if you get in a car accident and get your head smashed in by a pole, I mean, you might not think, okay, what part of my brain is this? What am I losing? But it's still good to know, you know what each part is doing. So today I'm going to be talking about where the three main parts of your brain are, each part of the cerebrum, and what each hemisphere means. There's always lots of hemispheres. So the first point, I'm going to talk about where each different section is at. Now this first one, it just kind of shows you like color coordinated, each different color is a different part. And then on this one, it's just kind of showing and mapping it out for you. So the forebrain is on the top, which is obvious top. And that has this rebrum, the thalamus and the hypothalamus in it. And then I'll go into detail about those are in a little bit. The midbrain is just a little part in the middle of the green section on this far right one. And that has to do with um, the tectum and the tegumentum. And you can't work for that as well. And then the hybrid, and that's the bottom part, and that has to do with the brain stem as well. That's where they connect and everything functions together. Um, now within each of the three rooms, there's a different part, and it's kind of confusing to talk about, so I'll try and do this. First, first part is the frontal lobe, and that's this purple part right here, and that has to do with your reasoning, your planning, your movement, the emotions, and problem solving. So like if you have a problem with a friend, and you want to keep their butt or whatever, if you're going to think about it, you're problem solving, and that's going to be the soft part. The occipital lobe is visual processing. So when you see something, you know, you probably heard that everything is backwards, and that's where everything kind of flips around and you understand what you're seeing. The uh, parental lobe has also to do with movement, but it's a different type of movement, movement, orientation and recognition and perception. So you can see how things are, you can remember things. And the temporal lobe, a lot of people kind of know this one because of the movie, the first days. Um, and that does have to do with the memory, but it also has to do with perception and recognition of auditory. So when you're hearing things, then that's where you can get all your information and understand what is being sent to you. <coughs> now at this point, um, it's for each hemisphere. People have different how they can make your logic or creative. And each part of this bottom one kind of tells you each one, your left side, your right side. And I thought this other picture was funny because it's kind of showing your right side more creative and not going. And then on um, the left side, be more structured in. The right hemisphere has to do with um, credibility, intuitive, drawing, and if you would rather do open-ended questions on a test. So if you like that, then that can kind of help you understand what part of the brain you are. Um, you can, you're free with your feelings, and you'll get similarities, not differences. The left side, you deal with logic abilities, rational talking and writing. So if you talk or write a lot, you're probably on the left side. Um, it controls feelings. You don't let them out. You're not free with them. And then you prefer multiple choice tests instead of long questions. So if you're the type of person that's into music or drawing, anything like that, you're probably on the right or the left side. And then if you're more structured in and you like things to be perfect, as it always is, then you're probably the right side.
All right. And in conclusion, um, I have talked about the three main sections, the high grade, the front, high grade, mid grade, and the front grade, for each part of the three pyramids and what each hemisphere is and what each part means. So again, I think it's important for everybody to know where each section is because it's good to know just for your knowledge and to know in case someone ever asks you, you know, not, nobody's going to come up to you to ask in the street, hey, do you know, you know what part of your brain is this? But it's just good to know. And I think it will help in your daily lives understanding where everything is located. Um, you might think that this is kind of boring or anything, but I think it's interesting and I think that more people should be interested.